Hey sis, do you ever wonder what we are made up of? Well, not really. I don't have reason to. Yes, but if we are small to the earth, what is small to us? Well, actually, there are tiny things called cells. And they are smaller than ants. Even plants have them. So what better plant or animal cells? Well, actually, they are both important. One cannot exactly live without the other. Yes, exactly. Plants help animals. Oxygen, food, energy, and shelter are necessities of animals that plants give. Energy and food keep us going, and shelter keeps us safe. Plants get energy from the sun, which we can't, but grants animals energy when consumed. This is because of chlorophyll and is an organ in the cell that only plants have. Animals give plants carbon dioxide, so in return plants give oxygen. Though you may not think it, even a small amount of grass provides shelter to an animal. Insects. How do animals help plants? Animals help pollinate seeds, which are the future of plants. When animals die, they are decomposed and therefore provide nutrients in the soil for plants to grow. Animals like worms provide breathing holes underground and help plants in their early life stages. So without plants, animals would still exist, right? Well, not exactly. We wouldn't have oxygen. Then what should we do? We will need to stop deforestation and perhaps start a small farm. How? I have an idea. We dig a place to put the plant. We put dirt on top and put water. Yay, now we can support plants from our own home. It was correct that the air would be fresher, I can feel it. Though it is dark, it still looks great so far. Someday the humans can stop deforestation and help plants. Wow, this is all so mind-boggling. We are all so glad that we were able to discuss this. It is truly exciting.